What's going on everybody? Hope you guys are having a wonderful day. My name is Deluxe, but you guys can call me D4. And in today's video, we're going to be headed to St. Denis. So if you haven't been to St. Denis at this spot, this is where we're going. And if you want to get there, get there quick. But we're going to be doing a couple of strats while we go there. Now, as we go there, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be grabbing another horse on the way there and then having our horse follow us there because we're going to need it when we make all this hard earned cash. So go ahead and do that for me. Once you go ahead and do that, what we're gonna be doing is heading to St. Denis and at this spot, I'm gonna give you guys more instructions. All right guys, once we get to our location, you wanna make sure that your horse is still following you and it's not just staying put. Once you get to the location, just go through those gates right there in front of me. And once you do go to the left or right side, it really doesn't matter as long as you can get to the back. So we're gonna go to the back here and we wanna keep our horses close to us. I would suggest that you also buy some varmint rifle uh, ammo and also maybe some throwing knives as well. Remember these two things don't really hurt what we're about to do. Now this is a little I guess a wishing well, wishing pond, whatever you want to say, but the game treats this like a lake. And now what we're going to be doing is we're going to break out our fishing pole. I've been telling you guys for weeks now that the game spawns things beside you. So there's absolutely nothing in this pond right now. But this game, like I said, is about to treat this thing like a lake. And once it does that, it's going to be spawning in fish. Now, I have tried this out and here's how it kind of goes. You are going to get two money making fish no matter what so you'll either get two small mouth two large mouth two sturgeon uh one sturgeon one large mouth one small mouth you do have a chance of getting one sturgeon and one bass as well and there's also of course a chance for you to get a little bit more than that but that's what i've found so far and right here we have a sturgeon now if you wait a little bit they will go ahead and spawn two sturgeon and uh, I've had that a few times, but that's what I've kind of encountered as I go to rivers and ponds and lakes in this game. What they're going to be doing is giving you two big fish no matter what. So when I've been to these other locations, that's what they always do. There's nothing that really changes there. So we're going to be able to kill these fish. Now, again, you don't want to really hurt the fish that much. So using a bow, using the varmint rifle, using a throwing knife, these are the key tips to doing this. Um, once you kill them, there is a little process that you guys need to do, and I'm going to talk about that right now. So we're going to jump in and go ahead and take this bad boy out, and then we're going to talk about the process of getting these fish out so we can make some money. All right, we are ready now to go ahead and harvest our fish. So I'm going to get out the varmint rifle on this one because it seems to be the easy way of doing this. And I'm just going to jump in. Once I jump in, it's going to be really, really shallow. I'm going to be able to see every fish that I want. I'm not going to go for the small fish. You can, of course, go for the small fish if you wish and have a little competition out and have fun. But I'm just going for the sturgeon and I'm going to go for that one shot kill. Once I kill it, Grab this bad boy. Now, there are no steps in this thing, so you have to figure out a way to get this thing out. So what I've figured is a good way of doing it is going towards the edge and then going ahead and drop it towards the edge. Get out, and you can get on the rail, or you can go all the way over and grab it uh, right there. Sometimes the character will go ahead and put the fish on the edge where you can get it pretty easily, but sometimes it's a little bit harder. If you, Like I just did as I walked on the side, you can do that as well. So I just jump up here grab this thing, and now we are good to go. I can go put this thing on my horse. Now, you may be asking, why did you go ahead and bring two horses? And there's also some precaution that you need to take. So I brought two horses so I could put two sturgeon on the back. That way I didn't have to go get a cart or a uh, some type of carriage of any kind. That way I could have two horses. I could ride the one horse and have my horse, of course, follow us, and we could go all the way back to the butcher to sell it. But since there's only one sturgeon, I didn't mind just using my horse. Now, I did bring that other horse with me. Where did that horse go? Well, that horse ran off when I used the varmint rifle. So I would suggest that you don't use the varmint rifle if you're using this method of two horses or if the horse is not yours because they'll go crazy and they'll just start going everywhere. You can go ahead and have a friend come with you and that makes it kind of easy. So if you have someone to come with you and you're not lonely like me, then you can do this pretty dang easily as well. But if you want to do it multitasking like I did, 
then go ahead and do that throw that in there and it's going to be easy easy money just put that sturgeon on the back and uh, go from there but um yeah i'm going to show you guys how much it actually is worth and how quick i can get to the actual butcher here which is going to be super super simple and easy peasy lemon squeezy but after we go ahead and sell to the butcher we're going to head on back and show you that again once you leave if you go outside that gate or get far enough away they will respawn new fish. So if you don't like the fish that you get, if you get too small mouth or too large mouth bass, then you can just trade them in for some sturgeon if you go outside of the gate and come right back in. It will give you a clean slate. So that's what we're gonna do here. So I sold this bad boy for $7.25 and if you get two of them, of course, that's $14.50 that you can be making in quite a little bit of time. And it's kind of cool that St. Denis seems to be the capital of everything cool. So if there was another huge city like this, this game would be through the roof. Now, what I love about St. Denis is that there's so many things you can do, especially with ranking up with our XP videos that we've been doing. And now I can fish in the middle of St. Denis, which is everything I wanted. So all the big fish that you wanna catch, all the small fish that you wanna catch, it can all be done right here in the middle of St. Denis. But we're gonna head back, like I said, and show you guys that there's new fish in here uh, and that you have to wait on them to spawn. But you can literally watch them spawn. And this is the same spawning system it is for the rivers and the lakes, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So if you want to check that out too, this is an easy way of doing that. And I know some people still don't know about the fishing rod. If you get out your fishing rod and hold in on both of your joysticks, I am, I'm on the Xbox actually, but if you do that, then you're going to be able to see all the fish underwater and you can kind of see which fish are spawning and not spawning and then take action accordingly. But uh, that's what we're going to do. Again, you have to get out your fishing rod. Again, that is the main key there. Get out that fishing rod. Uh, and then wait you can just sit here or you can move back and forth I like to do a little bit of both so if I'm trying to multitask I'll go back and forth and you can literally see the fish spawn they spawn one at a time so I'll go one two three four five they all don't just plop down in a big group and you know what you're getting you have to kind of wait for it uh, I'm not sure how many can actually spawn all at once but at the same time um it really doesn't matter because if you get a sturgeon to, to go in first then you're going to be perfectly fine just kill that sturgeon put it on the back of the horse and take off um because i wouldn't wait on the second one i'd come back and wait for a new batch of uh new fish so it's pretty crazy but i haven't got anything super crazy smallmouth bass largemouth bass well they go like for two bucks and then the sturgeon of course goes for 7.25 which is exactly what we're looking for but hey any kind of fish is money fish so yeah that's basically it but i wanted to show you guys also a couple clips that i got while i was trying to mess with the other horse and my horse and two sturgeon at the same time so i'm gonna go ahead and flip over to those right now all right so i roll up to the house just like normal and i go back here i have my horse following me and i'm yeah i'm about to catch me two sturgeon it's gonna be easy peasy lemon squeezy but the thing is again the varmint rifle will mess up your horse and it's not like you kind of almost have to cage this horse in because it starts to wander after you shoot a couple times this thing is pretty much going to find its way out so you basically got to watch this thing and keep a strange eye on it but this thing is just nuts so you only really have one horse to depend on if again if you want to do the wagon good luck with that because the wagon is just a headache finding the right one that has a gate etc 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 is kind of annoying but you might be able to do it with the gate open because it is not that far to go to the butcher but uh as you see here i get my fishing pole out work it back and forth and these fish just spawn in the perfect setup which is two sturgeon and some other fish as well but uh this one's a really nice little luck i think this is all like roll of the dice sometimes you'll get one thing the next time you'll get the next thing and it's just kind of crazy which ones you're going to get and which ones you're not going to get but uh right here we get a looks like a perch and then we go ahead and get a sturgeon and we're going to go ahead and wait on the other sturgeon to go ahead and spawn in but it's not a hundred percent that you're going to get two sturgeon uh it's kind of rare that you get two sturgeon but your lease probably going to get at least one i would say there's about a 70 percent chance that you're going to at least get one surgeon that way you can make some money off this thing but picking up the little fish isn't really that bad either it's really not that hard to pick up some little fish and, and make a little money off that too so um pretty easy stuff but again if you use that varmint rifle that thing is a headache and you'll be uh you'll be chasing that stupid horse all the way around all the freaking time 
So working what there you go. I think we saw the second one spawn in. There's one. Where's the other one? Uh, maybe he was just trying to escape. I don't know. Uh, let's see what this other one is. Yeah, there it is. It's in the back. So we have our two. There's one up front and one in the back. So we're going to flip over and go ahead and get out our rifle, which is still on our horse. So don't forget to leave that thing. Is If it's on your horse, go ahead and get that thing off, and that way you can jump in and get yourself to Sturgeon. Now, this is it. the horse has kind of wandered off a little bit. Not too crazy. But once you take that first shot, these things are gone. So we got two Sturgeon in here. Boom, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. And, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm a bad shot, just a really bad shot. So, please, don't watch my shooting. It's it's super bad. <laughs> All right. But, uh, anyways, guys, I just wanted to show you that it was possible to get two sturgeon and uh, what you can do to do that. But the horse is pretty much going to run off, and uh, it's going to be a headache. And trying to get these fish is also can be a headache if you don't use the mess that I, sh that I showed you. But, anyways, I love you guys. I hope you guys have a good day, and I'll see you guys next time on the next video. Peace out.